Roxborough is interesting. It's a, it's a small town feel here in Douglas County. It's separated from, from other communities by, by a pretty decent distance. Sometimes it's hard to tell where the community stops and where the school begins. This school is really the center of our community. Rick Kendall, principal of Roxborough Primary School. I'm the very proud principal of Roxborough Intermediate. What makes Roxborough so unique is that we are really a community of learners. Every day at school we try to be innovative. Today we are celebrating Space Day. Space Day! It's an incredible opportunity for our students and our community to come together. We have a lot of experts in our neighborhood. Right, the fastest in the West. About 30 to 40 percent of our parents work at Lockheed Martin. Whoa. And they come and teach us all about space. 100! That's a lot. If a parent is passionate and knowledgeable about something, we try to find a way for them to help support our mission of educating children. My favorite thing about Space Day is I love that I get to learn about all the new things in space. Kids get excited about it, parents get excited about it, and it gives kids a, a, an idea of a real-life opportunity to use some of these skills that they're learning every day. My name's Karen Adriance, and I'm the IB coordinator at Roxborough Primary. I am presently working with teams of teachers to write units of inquiry. Roxborough Primary Intermediate takes care of the whole child. One of them is shorter. shorter. Attributes that we hope every child will embrace and be by the end of sixth grade. We look at academic needs, we look at social and emotional needs, we look at physical needs, and, and we meet kids where they're at. Got it! The kids are engaged, excited. They are loving the different kind of learning. I would like to see our continuation of writing these units of inquiry to help our students learn that way. Sometimes a book seems either below our level or above our reading level. And be able to apply it to their lives and hopefully make a change in, in the world. Every year I get new interests, and my new interest is science. You're gonna see uh, the first graders really start to train like an astronaut. They're gonna understand what it means and, and what kind of um, obstacles uh, astronauts have to overcome as they're, they're in, a, a, the, in space. Yeah, that's a good one. You'll also see uh, second grade learning about propulsion and rocketry, and they're gonna actually create their own little rockets. I think the technology is cool. Every single time I've learned something new about it, it got me more and more interested. You'll see us today out on the roof shooting off rockets. We have an egg drop landing with our sixth graders where they build contraptions uh, to protect a raw egg. Those are activities that are hands-on learning in a 21st century environment that you're just not going to see in a textbook. I kind of want to work at either Lockheed or um, NASA. Let me just feel this real quick. We're just so fortunate to work in a community where the parents believe in the work that we do and help support us to give our kids every single opportunity possible. So our children are literally the children of rocket scientists. <laughs> we are hardwired for math and science. <laughs> they say it takes a village to raise a child. Roxborough is that village. It's a really fun day. Good job.